Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Mary Love, and welcome to Country Living. I had a little extra money today, so I'm going to do a short little video. So, let's get down here and stuff some cash. How's everybody doing today? Good, I hope. If it ever quits raining here, I'll be so much better. Alrighty, let's get down here. Or we can see what I'm about to do. Let's get some stuff out of the way. Oh, before we start this, I want to show y'all what I've been working on. Let me get you up here where I can see you. Well, where y'all can see me. I've been playing around on Canva, making dashboards and stuff for my envelopes. And tried out a few different little backgrounds. I made me this one for emergency funds. Then I made this one for vacation funds. Then I found this one for internet. Is that cute or what? I can get the light to shine on it right. And for oil change on my truck. And I think this is probably my second favorite background, but I really like this one. Let me, let's see. Nope, that don't help. Let's get it over this way. Well, yeah. I don't think that's much better. But I like it because it's like a little farm scene. And I made that one for personal. And then I made this one for birthdays. So this is just something I've been working on for myself. And I figured out how to put the dashboard inside the envelope where it's there permanently, which I really like. So I don't have to worry about dragging it in and out. So that's just a little something. So now let's get to stuffing some money while I have it to stuff. All right. Since I've went down to just doing five challenges at a time, I'm actually able to get some done. So this is the challenge by Tracy over at Golden Girl Budgets. It's a little mini challenge. We're going to be putting uh, $12 in here today. So we're going to cover up all three or all four of these number threes. When this one is completed, I will have saved $60. So we're going to cover up all four of these threes. And that only leaves me two, four, six, seven, eight, nine dollars left, and I'll have this one done. So twelve dollars going in here. And that will give me a total of twenty, thirty, five, forty, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty one dollars. And we'll mark it on the tracker. $12. Gives me 51. Today's the 27th. Alrighty. Moving right along. And we got nine dollars here to play with on the groceries and we're going to roll a dice and i think we're going to go with the chicken legs so i got a dice here so let's see what we roll a six 
So we're going to color in one of these little turkey legs. Or whatever it is. Let me find something to lay this on. Six dollars going into this. All right. That one's done. Looky there, I got a two. We're gonna do one. We're gonna add the last three. So we're just gonna make it three dollars. So that'll give me a total of nine dollars in here. Alrighty, that one's done. Now then, we got $10 going into Cindy Cat Challenge with the little kitty cats. We're going to color in one of these little kitties. $10 one. I hope everybody's day is going good. So that will give me a total of $30. There's 20, 5, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So 20 more dollars and we'll have this one done. Now then for Father's Day, we're going to add $10 into it. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Go ahead and write that down. Ten dollars. So that's going to give me ninety dollars in here. We're going to color off two ties. We're just going to grab a color. Whatever I grab. So there's 10, 20, 5, 30, 5, 40, 5, 50, 5, 60, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. There's ninety dollars. Okay. 
Now then for Cindy Cat's Gnome Challenge. We're going to add $10 to this. So that'll give me 40. This challenge is worth $50. So 10 more dollars and we'll have this one done. So there's 5, 10, 15, 25, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Some of these little dry erase markers, they don't dry very quick. The next one that I do when I finish this one is for $75. But I think before I start the next one on this one, once I get all of these challenges that I'm working on done now, I've got my A5 binder set up with some challenges in it, and I'm going to move to that binder and kind of just mix things up a little bit. So that's all for that. In my A5 binder, when I get those done... I'll be working on uh, Mandy over at Mandy's Budget. What's she calling her channel now? Mandy's Budget Journey. And I'm going to do the Roll the Dice. And then I got Hello Summer. These were freebies in her newsletter. So if you've not checked out her channel, she used to go by Clark's on a Budget, but she's changed it. Uh, to Mandy's Budget Journey. And she also made this one, Bundle of Joy. So I'm going to work on that one. And then I got the Cash Cow one. I don't remember who I got this from. I don't remember. Liz, over at Liz and Les, she made me this one. Mary had a little lamb. Until I stuck him on the barbecue grill and he tasted real good. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> but each of these little lambs is worth a dollar. And then she made this one with the little chicks. And they need their feet. So their feet are worth $5 a pair. So that'll be a total of 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 when that one's done. And the sheeps are worth... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twenty-four, thirty dollars. And I've got from Renee over at Reinventing Renee. Oh no, that's not Renee's. I thought I had hers in here. This is from Two Sister Bees. The coloring, each one of these little icons is worth a dollar. So, we're going to work on that one. I thought I had put Reinventing Renee's. Oh, I smashed up my deal. Um, 654. And I may change it out and put that one in there. Because I really like that game. If you like Renee's Shut the Box game, try out her. Uh, if you've not tried it, let me get y'all back up here. If you've not tried Renee's 654 game, give that one a shot. I really like it. I think I like it better than I do Shut the Box. And I like Shut the Box. But anyway, 50 bucks. That's what I saved today. So every little bit helps. And you can't save it if you don't put it up. I know for myself, if I have it in my wallet, I'm going to spend it. But if I leave it at home, I'm good to go. Some people don't understand why I do these little videos like this. Can I save money? Yes, I can. As long as I leave it at home, I can save it. 
Um, this just makes it more interesting for me. It's not for everybody. When I came across my first budgeting video, um, I want to say it was Tracy over at Golden Girl Budgets. I think hers was the first one I came across. And I really liked it. It made sense to me. So that's when I started watching a few other channels. And I figured out, you know what? This is a fun way to save money. And if you got kids, show them how to save money doing playing games. I think they would be more interested in saving their allowance if they get one. Um, this would make it fun for them to save it to where that they're not out wanting to spend every little penny they get on stuff that they probably don't need in the first place. But teach them now. And when they get older, they'll have a good sense of what it is, what it takes to save money. And they'll, they'll learn at an early age that if you truly want it, it's worth saving your money for. But after you've got that money saved up, then you'll think about it and ask yourself, do I really want it? Now that I got the money and it took so long, do I really want to spend the money on that? I know I ask myself that same question a lot. But that's it for now. I'll be back after a while with something for dinner. I think we're going to have some barbecue chicken legs for dinner. I haven't had those in a while. And some potato salad and whatever else I fix to go with it. But I think that's going to be for dinner. But with that, I will say good afternoon. God bless. Take care. And to all of my new subscribers, thank you so much for joining my channel. I deeply appreciate it. I'm up to 618 subscribers, family members, and I absolutely am just thrilled over it. On my 4,000 watch hours, I'm down to 171, I think, and I'll have all the watch hours done. So thank y'all so much for going back and viewing my older videos. I deeply appreciate that. Um, I had an email a couple of days ago, uh, a company reaching out to me to do a product review. This will be my first one when I get ready get the product to do it. So if you've done product reviews, let me know how they contacted you and some different things because I'm new to this and I don't want to get caught up in something that ain't legit. You know what I mean? So if you've done product reviews, and I know a few of you have, let me know how they contacted you, uh, how they got your information, because I know how this this lady had said that they, how they got mine, and I just need a little more information. So if you've done one and you've watched my video here today and saw me asking, please contact me. My email address is on my about page underneath my mailing address. If you want to email me that way or just leave me some information on, in a comment on this video, that'd be fantastic. I would deeply appreciate it. But with that, I will say good afternoon. God bless. Take care. And until we meet here again here after a while, have a lovely day.